Hi, Aries. I am astrologer and numerologist Letitia Bynum Hinton, and I am coming to you with your weekly horoscope for July the 8th through July the 14th. Now, the week opens up on Sunday, July the 8th, with a beautiful energy uh, between the Sun and Jupiter. And for you, if you are one who has a home-based business, uh, this could be a beautiful energy. You could find more resources coming in from your clients. Um, also, if you are wanting to expand things in your home, you want to remodel or you want to maybe change the furniture around or even plan a move this is a beautiful energy for this uh, also um, for you and your partner you may find a greater love making and that's always a good thing uh, the energy supports that now moving forward uh, from the 9th, which is Monday, through the 10th, there is a challenging aspect between uh, Mercury and Mars. Now, let me just take a look at my notes so I can see where that is happening for you. And so, we have Mercury in, Mercury's in the sign of Leo, and Mars is in the sign of Aquarius. So, for you, that is your 5th and 11th houses. So, um, in this area, there could be challenges between you and your uh, children, communication with you and your children, or if you have uh, started a business or were planning on starting a business, there could be uh, some challenges in this area. Now, luckily, this uh, energy only lasts for a couple of days. So within those couple of days, you know, um, you just may want to be watchful, make sure that uh, tempers are not flying. Also, if you are a part of a group, you know, there could be tension. If you have a new idea, maybe you want to do a fundraiser or something like that. You may find that the group um, is not understanding you. You know, there may be miscommunication uh, in this area for you. Okay? Now, on to uh, the big dynamic thing that everybody has been talking about, including myself. Um, and that is uh, we have a... A new moon solar eclipse on July the 12th but before that I have to mention that Jupiter goes direct thank God on uh, the 10th of July so when Jupiter goes direct then you know we will find you'll find even more resources becoming available for you um, as far as your clients are concerned if you have a home-based business or if you are planning to do something with your home you know you will find more support in that area now as far as the solar eclipse is concerned this is happening for you in your um there was a book i had to get it away i'm here at the beach i'm at dane street beach and uh recording this video it's so beautiful you can see the um birds down there there's people uh, there on the boats, and it is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Okay, so back to the um, new moon solar eclipse in Cancer. Okay, so this is going to be affecting you, affecting you in your fourth and tenth houses. So for you, uh, this again is area of home home and how you see yourself in the world the interesting thing about this eclipse is that uh, the Sun and the moon will be opposing Pluto now Pluto is the planet of power transformation uh, death okay and so with Pluto being added into the mix with the moon and the moon is about you know our emotions our familiarity home um, the Sun is our ego so with the conversation that these three will be having here uh, during the eclipse, for you, this will trigger some change as it relates to your career and how you see yourself in the world. Uh, you may see uh, a boss may leave, um, authority may change, you may find that uh, you are unhappy and you want to move into a place of authority. Um, 
in your career you know you want to be you you don't want to be the one answering to anyone you want to be the one moving out and have an authority and using your skills and your abilities in this way now on the home front uh, this energy could affect uh, the authority in the home you know if there are gender roles that are being played out traditional gender roles this um, eclipse could cause changes in this area uh, could this equal a divorce maybe could it equal a separation it could be I mean those things do happen it doesn't have to be that way you could just be having a conversation with those in the household and saying okay things have got to change I don't feel that I've been getting the respect that I deserve in the house and I want to have more respect and I want things to go in this way or a certain way uh, you may have someone move into your home you know uh, the clips the eclipse could bring that type of change uh, someone move out of the of the home you know when we have a an, an eclipse then we see that the power or the energy of the eclipse can last from up to a month before or a month after so we're looking at June the 12th we may have already begun to see changes in this area under the energy of the eclipse if you have not then all the way through to August 12th you may be um, feeling energy in regards to this if you have a home-based business um, this can definitely increase um, the work that you are having you know bring about a huge change in this area bring about different type of clientele a stronger clientele for you uh, it can bring you into a place where you are more known okay in your community or in your area of work where you have a greater reputation for yourself uh, so pay out for the hard work that you have been putting in during this time and so that is the major uh, energies that are going on this week. Uh, the power of the eclipse is, eclipse is so huge. And then um, on Friday the 13th, we have a conversation between, a beautiful conversation between Venus and Saturn. And she will also be speaking with Uranus on that day as well. So that conversation is just coming to solidify the changes that are um, have been initiated by the energy of the eclipse so you know I want you to take care and I want you to always remember that the universe is conspiring at all times to bless you all times to bless you Aries thank you for watching subscribe to my channel um, go visit my website LeticiaBynumHinton.com if you would like a reading from me I would be so glad to do that for you if you are in um, the Boston greater Boston area and you would like to have a reading in person I would definitely definitely love to sit down with you and do that and let's let's chat let's have a conversation and I will talk to you soon have a great week